In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a Lambda to AWS using SAM. I'm going to start this tutorial as though we're working with a new AWS account and it's our first time getting things set up. The first thing we're going to do is create our user and user group. Let's open up IAM in the AWS console and click on Users. Click on Add Users. I'm going to use the name Joga and check both credential types because I'll be using this user from the command line and the console. Now I'm going to select Custom Password and select the password I already have stored. And last on this page, I'll uncheck the Required Password Reset checkbox because I don't want to reset my password when I log in for the first time. We can now click Next through the rest of the pages and our new user will be created for us. Before closing this page, be sure to click the Download CSV button and put this file in a safe place for later. Now we're going to create a user group. So start by clicking on User Groups and Create Group. I'll be naming this group AWS Admins and adding the user I just created to this group. In the Attach Permissions Policy section, I'm going to search for Admin and select Administrator Access so that the users in this group will have full access to everything. And that's it for our AWS account setup. In this section, we're going to be setting up our development environment so that we can deploy to our AWS account using the credentials that we just created. Let's start by installing the AWS CLI. Use the link in the description and select the operating system you're using. In my case, it is macOS, so I'll be selecting macOS and downloading the installer they provide. Once it is done downloading, run the installer and the CLI should be installed for you. To test that it is installed properly, you can open up a terminal window and run the command aws-version. If a version shows up, then you know everything went well. Now we're going to configure the AWS CLI to use the credentials we created. As a quick disclaimer, this is not the preferred way of giving your CLI access to your account because you are storing your credentials on your computer and they can be used by anyone who has access. However, for the purposes of this video, we'll be using this method and in a future video, we'll look into a better way of granting access. Run the command AWS configure and enter your access key ID and secret access key from the CSV file we put aside earlier. For the region, I'll be using US West 1. Once you're done, your AWS CLI should now have access to your AWS account. The last thing we'll be doing to set up our environment is installing the AWS SAM CLI. If you're using macOS, you're going to need to first install the Xcode command line developer tools if you haven't already. To do this, run the command xcode-select-install. You'll get a pop-up giving you the option to install the tools. This might take some time. Once it's done installing, you can install the AWS SAM CLI by running the command brew install aws-sam-cli. When this one completes, check that everything is installed properly by running the command sam-version. We're now done setting up our environment. Now that we have everything set up, we can create our Lambda using SAM. I'm going to create a folder on my desktop to store the project and navigate to it from the terminal. Now run the command SAM init and select AWS Quick Start Templates. For package type, select zip. For runtime, select Python 3.9 and give your project whatever name you want to give it. And finally, select the Hello World example. When that completes, we can close the terminal and open up the project in an editor like Visual Studio Code.
open up the template.yaml file and remove the outputs as well as the events from the function. This will make it so that we're only creating our Lambda function and no other resources. And that's it for the project creation portion. Now we can finally deploy our project to AWS. Open up a terminal into the same directory as your project and run the command sam build. Now run the command sam deploy dash dash guided. Using guided will give us a list of options that we can fill out and it will also generate a sam config file that can be used for subsequent deployments without having to use guided anymore. Let's now open up the AWS console CloudFormation page. If you click refresh, you will notice that a stack named AWS SAM CLI Managed Default is being created. When this stack is finished being created, the stack we wanted to deploy will get created. If we click on the first stack and select resources, we can see that it has created an S3 bucket and a policy for that bucket. You can view the bucket by clicking the provided link. This stack and bucket are generated the first time you run SAM deploy and it is used by the SAM CLI to store the template and code for each of your projects you deploy. Now if we go back to the stack we created ourselves and take a look at the resources, we will see that two items have been created. One is the Lambda that we wanted to deploy and the other is an IAM role. This role was generated for us as an execution role for our Lambda automatically since we did not specify one. Alright, so our project's deployed now, so let's go ahead and test it out. Click on the link that they gave you for your Lambda function, and select Test. I'm going to erase everything except the curly brackets and hit the Test button. If everything goes successfully, we should get a 200 status code with our Hello World message. Finally, in this last section, I'm going to show you how to delete the project we just created. Head back over to CloudFormation page and select our stack and click Delete. After a short while, our stack will be deleted. Now for the SAM generated stack, we will need to do a little additional work. Head over to S3 and click on the SAM generated bucket. Since there are files in this bucket, we'll get an error if we try to delete the stack now. What we can do is come back out of the bucket and select it. Then we're going to click on Empty to empty the bucket. You will have to type the words Permanently Delete in order to do this. Now we can safely delete the SAM generated stack. Alright, so we must be finished now, right? Nope, there's one more thing we need to do. Since we executed the Lambda, there will have been some logs generated in CloudWatch. Head over to CloudWatch and select Log Groups. We can see that there was a log group generated as well as one log inside that group. If you click on the log, you can view the full execution log. Back out and delete the log, then delete the group as well. You can optionally go to IAM and delete the user and user group we created as well, but I won't be doing that in this video since it doesn't charge you to have those. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it useful.